Hi everyone, here I am today with Alex, he's our smallest member of the team, our little Papillon, and I get a lot of messages asking me about the general hair care for Alex. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you what I do. Number one, like all of our dogs, we spend a lot of time, especially when they're young, making sure that they enjoy being up on the table. So this requires you to find the treats that they absolutely love. Um, I'm lucky here, he really loves the hound's tooth treats and his absolute favorite is the salmon. It breaks up nice and easily so that I can give him tiny little pieces because obviously he's only 2.8 kilos, so he needs tiny little treats. As you can see, he really loves them. So I'm building a positive association of being up here on the grooming table. And I'll do the same with all of the instruments that I'm going to use. So that's the first thing. Make sure you've got treats that they love and make sure you get them used to being up on the grooming area that you're going to use. So the next thing you need to do is find a grooming spray that you like. Um, I'm using the Hound's Tooth Stella's Blend. Um, it makes sure that the coat's nice and conditioned. And really importantly for a long-haired dog like Alex that's got silky hair, is it allows the combs and brushes to go through his coat really easily and it protects his coat. So he's got this flowing hair on his ears. Make sure when you spray, I put my hand to protect his eyes so I don't get anything in his eyes. And to start with, I just spray him all over and I put a reasonable amount on there. As you can see, he's also had a lot of treats for allowing me to put spray on him. And you can see he, he's very comfortable about that happening. So once I've put spray on, I then need to select some brushes. For Alex, I've got a pin brush, a comb, and a slicker brush. And they're about the only tools that I use on his coat. So I can start with a slicker brush, and all I'm going to do is run the slicker brush through his coat, nice and gently. I want him to enjoy the grooming, so be nice and gentle. The good thing about a slicker brush is if it's running through the coat nice and smoothly, it's going to be a good indicator that I don't have any knots. But what will happen is if the slicker brush gets caught anywhere, it highlights an area that I'll need to spend a little bit more time on because it might have a little bit of a tangle or a bit of coat that needs to come out. So go right over him with the slicker brush and I stop in the middle and make sure that I give him lots and lots of treats. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, tasty. He says this is worth it. So I go all over him. As I said, I've done the ears I need to look at his tail and he'll often just lay down while I do his tail so I'm just going to gently do his tail you're a good boy he says I'm a good boy so nice and gently with his tail good boy a little bit more treats good and once that I've gone over him with a slicker brush then I'll usually bring the comb in and this is where I get a little bit more intense in making sure that I don't have any knot areas. So Alex, come over here, matey, good boy. So let's do this ear so you can see. So I just very, very gently, holding his ear, just put the comb through. Good boy. I'm making sure that I'm gentle at all times because I want him to enjoy the grooming. So just there. Now with Alex, I groom him about twice a week and the reason for this is I want his coat to stay really nice and I don't want him to have major tangles at any stage because if you leave them for long periods of time it means that they've got chances of getting tangles and getting tangles out or knots that's when it can hurt the dogs and they're not going to enjoy grooming for long if every time you groom them you're pulling on knots all the time so watching with his pants Good boy, I'm just going to turn him around like that because once I get to the pants area, I need to put more spray because it's going to help my brush go through and it'll also help give some moisture to the coat. So I've now moved to the pin brush because I find that easier for this area and I just go through there and I always do his tail separately. So I'm going to make sure I do in his pants. Good boy, he's very good. I've just got my hand just under his belly to keep him in a stand, but he hasn't got any pressure on that at all. 
So I'll just move his tail out the way. As you can see, he's very comfortable about being groomed and that's because his favorite treats are always at hand. He says, this is good, I like that. That was a big piece, wasn't it? Eh? Sometimes we forget you're tiny and you need the tiny, tiny little bits. Eh? Tiny, tiny bits. I'm very generous with my treats, as you can see. Um, and the result of being generous with your treats is a dog like Alex who actually enjoys being groomed. So that's really important. So the next thing I need him comfortable with me holding his head so that I can groom under here so I can look in his eyes or his ears or even at some stage I'm going to need to look in his teeth. He's a good boy and I can give him treats for being very compliant about having that done. Good boy. So once I've looked at his teeth and I've looked under here, I'm going to spray so that I can get the brush to go through easier. And then I'm just going to brush. I barely got hold, you can see I can move my fingers there. So I'm just supporting his head more than anything. If I need to hold his head really hard, it means that I need to go back and teach him how to enjoy having that done a little bit more. So as you can see, he does have a lot of hair, um, but if you do some regular grooming, um, it's not actually a hard coat to keep. The hardest part is when he runs in the paddock, if he gets little sticks or anything or twigs or leaves in his tail, they can tangle up quite easily. But as I said, if I'm using the grooming spray um, a lot, it just means that they don't tend to tangle as much um, and it does let the brush go through easier. So just a couple of those little tips um, can make owning a dog so much easier. Um, I don't want to fight with him for the next 16 to 18 years. I want a dog that likes to be groomed. You're a good boy, aren't you? Yeah, you're a good boy. Time for a run? He is very sweet. He's very clever and very, very sweet. Good boy. One last treat. One last treat. See? And then you can go for a run. Good boy. Very nice. 